The crisis in Ukraine continues. Hundreds of thousands of refugees are fleeing fighting in Ukraine. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Hudson. And I'm Regina Mobley. Men, women and many children have tried to get to safety in neighboring countries like Poland. Close to 700,000 have already left Ukraine. The UN estimates that more than a million refugees will eventually be displaced. A week into war, the battle has intensified as the Kremlin now targets the two largest cities in Ukraine. The deadliest are strikes coming through the air. Today, the United Nations General Assembly voted to demand Russia end its invasion of Ukraine and immediately withdraw its troops. The UN is warning the crisis in Ukraine could quickly become Europe's largest refugee crisis this century. Help is on the way. 10 on your side's John Dowding caught up with Operation Blessing before its international relief team took off for the border with Poland to help with the influx of refugees. John? Well, Stephanie, even if the war ends tomorrow, which we all would hope it would, the refugee crisis would still linger. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians left their homes to escape the war, but Operation Blessing hopes to be there with much needed supplies, hope and faith. Why go out and do all this? Well, he, he told us to do it. Jesus told us to do it. Using their faith as their guide, a group from Operation Blessing is in the sky right now on their way to Poland. They'll set up along the border with Ukraine to help refugees in need. Diego Traverso says even though the war seems a world away, it's no excuse not to help. Sometimes ca can sound like the war or the crisis of the suffering is far away from you, from your home. But this is knocking right now in the door of Europe. Staff will buy supplies like food once they get on the ground there and have partners transport them in from other locations in Europe. The group who left from Chesapeake today brought supplies like solar lamps and water filtration devices with them. We got to see how easy it was to set up one of those water filters. Fill it up with water, this clicks here, and then literally you just flip it around and you get instantaneous water. With no clear end to the war in sight, volunteers say help is needed now more than ever. We're humans at the, at the end, seeing the face of a kid losing their parents or having no food on their table or no even clothes. And right now it's 22 Fahrenheit right, right there. It's freezing cold. Aside from donations, those heading out to Eastern Europe say they need something else from everyone back home while they help refugees. I mean, the fastest and easiest way to help is to keep us and the people of Ukraine, in this case, in your prayers and thoughts. So the team expects to be there for at least 90 days, but they anticipate they could be out there longer depending on how much help is needed. We'll have more information over at wavy.com about how you can help their efforts. I'm John Dowding, 10 on your side.